Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, April 11th. So today we will see the moon in Taurus go void, of course, at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Gemini energy at 8.59 a.m., which of course is going to bring a major shift in energy. We're moving out of an Earth energy that has us very present, very in the now, very aware of our physical form, of our emotions. We're moving up into an air energy, Gemini energy, all about the mental plane. We're moving out of the physical body. Now we're looking to expand on some thoughts, on some ideas and perspectives that should be popping since this new moon eclipse energy is finally starting to settle down a little bit. So this particular transition is definitely going to pique our curiosity. We are looking outside of ourselves for stimulation. We have a new curiosity pushing us to ask some questions and gain new answers, new perspectives. And we are definitely going to push the boundaries of what it is that we were thinking of, the boundaries of our plans, the boundaries of our intentions. We are definitely looking to expand on what it is that we want to do, what we want to build, what we want to create. So there are 11 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. The moon, while still in this Taurus energy, is going to make a positive interaction first with Saturn, then with Mars, both in Pisces energy. The moon interacting with Saturn in this way is a positive realization that we do want to build. We do want to create something new. Could be as small as a new routine, new health and wellness plan, could be as big as shifting environment, shifting careers, shifting our mission, our path, our purpose. The the moon interacting with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, helping to get us in alignment with a new truth, with a new mission, with a new purpose. This is building inspiration. This is building in our creativity. This is building in determination and motivation to actually see our long-term plans, our long-term visions come into fruition. The moon is then going to sextile Neptune. Neptune, of course, in his place of power in this Pisces energy as well, at the final degrees of this Pisces energy. We love this because Pisces energy and Taurus energy means growth. It means realizing a new hope, new wish, new goal, new dream, and we're able to actually bring it into fruition, into the physical body, feel good about it, and start to actually realize the fundamental building blocks that we're going to have to build, create, bring into our reality in order to house the long-term vision, the long-term goal, the long-term dream. This is also a refreshing type of energy. We're feeling spiritually renewed. We're feeling a little bit more hopeful and wishful than we have over the past couple of days. And this particular energy is fine-tuning our intuition, allowing our higher self to lead, especially in these new endeavors, in these new pursuits. 6.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is when the moon is going to go void, of course. And we shift into that Gemini energy, 8.59 a.m. And at 10 a.m., we have our first moon in Gemini aspect. Now, it is going to be a tension point with the North Node in Aries energy. Let's just kind of understand that we shift into the mental plane. That Gemini energy kind of plays devil's advocate. We can see the pros, we can see the cons. Our job while the moon is in Gemini energy is to reach a balance point, reach a compromise in between the very two extreme different thoughts, different ideas, different path, plan, and strategy that we're currently debating upon. The moon creating this tension, this conflict with the North Node, which of course is trying to get us on the right path to kind of bust out in our independent solo adventure to reach new mission and quests for our own soul's purpose. We're questioning things. We are stepping back and we're just questioning the options, the opportunities that we have to actually grow, to actually heal, to actually move forward. Out of this tension point, we will make a decision. We will make a choice point, but we do have to kind of step back and weigh the pros and cons way the light versus dark way our options new versus old 
The moon is then going to trine beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy. We get some air on air action here. And this is going to put us all up in the headspace to really start seeing the bigger, broader perspective. That's the Aquarius energy, the greater, grander goal, if you will, where we can improve, where we can do better, where we can really kind of see ourselves creating a different realm, different reality for ourselves because the Plutonian energy puts us in power, puts us in control over our lives. The moon in Gemini is going to work on the smaller details that make up the greater, grander picture that the Aquarius energy is currently painting for us. The moon is then going to semi-square Chiron, the wounded healer, in this Aries energy, and suddenly we're having a little bit of dough, a little bit of insecurity, a little bit of uncertainty that we are prepared that we're equipped to do what we have to do to make these major changes, these major transformations. Again, just reminder, we're still in this eclipse energy. We're still under the influence of Mercury being retrograde. There's a lot of reflection looking back at who it is that we had to be, who it is that we kind of were meant to be in that survival role. And now that we're trying to switch into thriver role, we now are not as comfortable, not as familiar with this new version of self. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information communication, how it is that we express ourselves, ruler over the Gemini energy that the moon is in, Mercury is retrograde in this Aries energy. We come up to, we bump into, we team up with the sun, shining a bright light in this Aries energy. This is the halfway point of Mercury's retrograde. Even more than that, this opens up our mind space. We start looking at problems, challenges, blockages, issues that we've been having from a fresh set of eyes. This is putting us in a very small but very potent window of opportunity to have a totally different understanding of some situations and circumstances that popped off in the past, how it relates to this present moment, and we are now gaining clarity on what it is that we could do differently, what we could do now, how we could bring these new ideas to life, how we could pursue this new path of want, of need, of desire. So this is definitely going to shift our mental plane for the better, even though it may come with a little bit of a harsh reality check, understanding where it is that we're coming from to understand where it is that we now want to go. The moon in Gemini then going to semi-square Mercury, which is a very interesting dynamic, bringing a whole hell of a lot of intensity to the mental plane and to our heart space, because our heart and our head are not on the same page, especially coming out of this aha moment, this epiphany, this revelation of sorts at that midway point between Mercury and the sun. We need a little bit of time to settle in our heart space. We need a little bit of time to really align with this new perspective, but right now our heart and our head are on different paces, if you will, trying to come to a middle point, trying to come to a grounding point. Now, our heart and our head not being on the same page is going to illuminate what is blocking us from getting on the same page. So again, a certain level of clarity coming in through this tension point, through this conflict. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires in this Pisces energy, trying to get in alignment with a new mission, new truth, new purpose, new quest. We are being called from our higher self to pursue a new path, to pursue new projects. Mars is going to be making a positive interaction with that North Node in Aries energy that is trying to get us on the right path to pursue new projects, new ideas. What this is going to do for us is it's going to put some pep in our step. We're tapping into new creative force energies. We're tapping into new inspiration, new motivation, new determination to actually see these particular plans through. Now, yes, there's going to be this urgency to want to take action and make moves. We're not being supported in doing that just yet. However, we are still building and cultivating this fire, the spark, this flame within us that pushes us into really pursuing new passion ideas, new project ideas, whatever it is is that our higher self is calling us to pursue that is the energy that we're currently building in our physical form the moon is then going to semi square creating tension and conflict with the sun in this aries energy so this is going to again bring us to an aha moment an emotional awareness of sorts through a conflict through a tension point Emotionally speaking, 
we're still trying to sort out the pros and cons in this Gemini energy. There's a lot going on in our mental plane. There's a lot of intellectual compartmentalism going on. The sun, however, shining a bright light in this Aries energy wants to show us what it is that we have to initiate, what we have to jump into, where we're being gifted with a clean slate, where it is that we're building up this energy to want to take action, to want to make moves. But of course, these guys aren't on the same page. So emotionally speaking, we aren't really in the space to take action and make moves because we haven't decided on a path, a plan, a strategy as of yet. So as we kind of sit in this discomfort of feeling emotionally like we still have some information to gather, but physically like we are have ants in our pants and we want to take action upon it, we're going to realize where it is, what's blocking us from being on the same page, what's blocking us from being in alignment. And that in itself is a whole hell of a lot of awareness and clarity that we didn't have just a couple of days ago. The last aspect that we have going on here today is the moon in Gemini energy, sextiling beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Aries energy. She's making some changes to her heart space. She's making some changes to her worth, to her values, to what it is that makes her happy, to what it is that she wants to pursue from here. Emotionally speaking, the moon in Gemini has us weighing the pros and cons of the old versus the new. Venus, however, has no want, need, or desire to look back. She doesn't want to settle for what she's been settling for. She's in Aries energy. She just wants to push forward. She wants to try something new. She wants to really just declare what she is or is not willing to tolerate or continue to pour into. And that in itself is a huge amount of clarity. So our hearts space is trying to get in alignment with our head space to realize where it is that we're moving away from old narratives, old ideas, old relationships, old inspirations, old motivations, and we're trying to convince ourselves in our head space and in our heart space that we want to pursue something new. 